We are back everyone. We are gonna try and replicate the same or near the same route I went last time to New Belgium um, with my, the, the really weird, I actually had a zero disengagement drive last time. So we'll see if it can do it again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to route it very well just because I, I'm of course uh, by myself. So it's gonna make it pretty difficult. Um, now it's one of my viewers, um, you had commented and I didn't quite understand you. Oh, there you go. That was already a zero disengagement uh, drive. It almost turned into that car right there. Um, okay. Um, they commented about making waypoints, and that was actually really good. Uh, uh, what is going on? Now turn right onto Battery Park Avenue. Wow. Okay, it needs to stop. Yeah, it's making. Yeah, I can't say in Asheville, it's it's not better. I am. It's doing a lot of random, odd, jerky movements. Like that, it's just breaking. No, like what happens is I think it sees these people and all of a sudden it thinks they're gonna teleport in front of me It thinks they're like closer. It's, it's distance reference is not good This um, What do you call it? A liquor cycle? I don't know what you call these things um, That car is going way too quickly Grove Street. Making wide turns again. It hasn't done that since like 9.0, I think. Maybe I should have turned on my 360 camera. It's too late now, everyone. I... I made that. It needs to stay over in the right lane. Okay. That was a disengagement. So number two of this drive. Now I didn't have the traffic last time. I for sure didn't have that problem last time. But um, it, again, it needs to know. It it can it can see this as a left only turn lane with a truck behind me to my left. That's a problem that it's going to cut off that truck and get in the wrong lane to go around traffic. They really need to focus on that. That's That needs to get fixed, in my opinion, before I really any large amount of new people get added into the beta program. That That's the current largest safety issue, is that it keeps on trying to go around traffic and make really bad incorrect lane changes, which I've called a routing issue. I'll link that in the corner for the playlist or not playlist to the video that explains what I consider to be a routing issue it is plague Tesla for sure in these updates and it's the biggest issue right now that it would drive so so much better if it had better routing okay I'm not sure what's going on here I'm trying to press the accelerator. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it just gave up turn. It's because I think the GPS is off. I'm, I'm gonna submit a. I'm gonna submit a um, service request. Um. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's this area or what, but my GPS just doesn't function well. <laughs> So right here is kind of an odd edge case. I've never really seen this before. This is like a road that goes through a parking lot. 
like, but like, not like a, it's not like it would be like a, you know, Walmart parking lot or anything. It's like, like a mom and pop store or something parking lot. Last time it went through the parking no spaces where that car was parked. And again, it made it. Seems like such a hard maneuver. Now turn right onto Buxton Avenue. It stopped there last time. It must be these cones. It doesn't like the cones. Um, did I have it navigate? It rerouted. Oh. No. Look. I don't understand what the problem is with navigation. It needs to go... That's the road we're going to turn up. The problem is now we have a car in our way. I don't know if we can get around this or not. The car definitely would not have made that. No question. Um, it would have messed up there. This Prius next to us. Okay. In 500 feet, turn right onto Cox Avenue. Oh, that was the wrong turn. Okay. Now turn right onto Cox Avenue. That's not where I wanted to turn, actually, everyone. I'm actually going to go ahead and... There's no one behind me, so we're going to go ahead and reroute this. So, so to my left, it cannot see and I cannot see. There's a good example. I should have had... Maybe I should just have, okay, next time we're having my 360 camera on for this type of driving. Because, um, I don't know the roads, I don't have the roads memorized, and so there's a lot of spots like that that would get, um, caught on camera. Okay, well, at least it was it aggressive. good that was really good this is not going to be the same route as last time um close but not the same uh, it did all the difficult stuff though already so it would have just been a straight road but parallel to us over there and when it came down this road in front of us and so once we turn left we're going to be on the same road as last time again so it's not like it was anything difficult all the hard stuff was the same actually Pressing the accelerator just to get it to go a little bit quicker here. Wow. Okay, that was a disengagement as well. really jerky. It seems to be faster, 
but it's just really jerky around those intersections. So I think that was appropriate to go over the yellow line there. It was making space for the cars and there was a couple people standing right there. Now turn right onto Lyman Street. Okay. It needs to figure out yield signs still. I don't know how everyone else is having great traffic circles. But, um, around the bounce. But, um, and this seems to be much more aggressive getting up to speed in here. I guess, like, honestly, this would fail Tesla's own, um, own safety test. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that failed right there as well. Again, you can see how many disengagements. This drive is almost identical to um, almost identical to the previous drive. And uh, and like all these roads are actually exactly the same. The only road that was different was like midway through. Everything else has been the same, and as you can see, it is substantially worse. So much so, I might compare the two drives, and like just show, just show where it's worse, and show how it varies. It's actually quite similar how we um got stopped at the same stoplights and everything, and it's made some of the same mistakes as the previous drive, but it's made even more on this drive. through that, that um, light there. Not terrible, but it really should have come to a complete stop. Okay. Obviously missed that turn. Again, it almost missed that last time, but they even had a harder challenge last time than where it had, uh, had, um, uh, it had a person in the road last time. And it does not seem to be slowing for speed bumps this time. Yeah. Everyone, um, this is, um, let the video speak for itself. This is the, a downgrade for sure. This is absolutely a downgrade. It's not even slowing for the speed bumps anymore. I did that two updates in a row. If I turn it back to 25, it, if it's going to slow down for the speed bumps here. Or this person in the middle of the road? Amazon. no longer slowing for the speed bumps. Maybe it just assumes that 25 mile an hour is a a-okay speed limit to go over the speed bumps, but before it was perfect. Um, this is slowed a little bit for that one, but this is it's too fast to go over the speed limits, in my opinion. Unless you're in a rush, and this is appropriate. Like right here, slowed a little bit right there. It's just a little bit too fast. Okay, I made that as a tight squeeze, but made it. very well for these people in the street here. Nope. It needs to stay a little bit further right, right there. And this is kind of a blind corner here.
so it's good to go. There is not a single person there. Good. Now turn left onto Craven Street. So this is the end of this drive, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and park real quick right in here, uh, so we can discuss. So, to say the least, I again am not happy with this drive. Uh, with the version, the first drive I had was great, uh, as good as 10 for sure, if not a little bit better, I'd say. But this, um, unequivocally worse. I you you can't like the. I, I don't know if there's anything better about it, to be honest. Like, almost everything. It doesn't slow for the speed bumps. It takes random wrong turns. Tries to go around traffic. It accelerates far too quickly, in my opinion. Um, let's just park here next to this. Okay. It, it's just... Everything just... Everything just, um... It doesn't do well, if you will, you know? And that isn't camera calibration. That is that is straight up just a routing issue. It really just wants to go around every car in the road. It's just, it wants to be the boss of the road. And it's, um, this can't happen. This is, this is the first sign of a, an actual downgrade version. This version for Asheville is for sure worse uh, than 10.0. Uh, uh, definitely, no, no question about it. Uh, it is worse than 10.0. But um, we'll see if going from New Belgium uh, to, um, where are we going? Uh, we're probably gonna go back to the outlets from here. Uh, sorry, to New Belgium to the outlets. And then we are gonna go from there back home. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, everyone, I want I like to see your feedback in the comments down below. Uh, tell me what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.